wise choice. Hey guys, and welcome to this. Alrighty, so I did uh, get a little request on the Discord to try out making a lockdown list using Cadaverain, this dastardly fellow. So, uh, look, <clears throat> I've played with this in the past from time to time, quite rarely I must say. It's a tough card, I'm not going to lie to you folks, I wouldn't do that. It's a tough card <clears throat> to play around. It's like Shiru, a little bit. Uh, destroy self and all units on the board, whose power equals Cadaverine's charge count. And he gains charges, or it, it's an artifact, it gains charges every allied turn on your turn start, and whenever you play a tactic. So you can't lose charges. So there's all, there's a risk, you got to time this perfectly. There's a risk of going over, and then it's it's useless. Um, then it's just a nice ornamental vase, nothing more. Uh, but if you can time it perfectly, you can really uh, wipe the board. Now, when I've seen other people play Cadaverine, it's usually been uh, no unit stuff, so that A, you, your opponent can't interact with anything you're doing, and... There's no risk of you blowing up your own stuff with your Cadaverine. <clears throat> and then you swoop in at the end with a big play, big unit play, like Usurper or something. And you uh, you win. Or, the other th way I've seen it is also no unit, but using Phoenix and Letho to get two Phoenixes for some good carryover. And those ways of playing certainly have their merits. No doubt about it. But I wanted to do this briefs style. So I, I threw this together and it's surprisingly done me alright, but with the disclaimer, it is t hard to time it sometimes. But that's not just because of the way my deck runs, it's the nature of the card itself. Now, how do we cater the board to the amount? Well, through these bad boys. We're playing Fire Scorpions and a Hefty Helge. I should also say in those other iterations, they play uh, the artifacts Tainted Ale and Master Crafted Spear to try and cater the board, but we're not doing it that way. They're, they're weak source, in my opinion. I prefer to cater it through the Hefty Helge and the Fire Scorpions, which gain charges when you play Tactics. So, it's going to be great. We're playing Lockdown, so you don't need to worry about your opponent's leader ability and Collar, my personal favourite stratagem. We got a Nero to get what we need. We got Sysenthesis Blaze. Another great card here to help cater your opponent's side of the board to your uh, your uh, Cadaverine. Five charges, damage an enemy unit by one. It's great. We got Fion here to protect our uh, important units, charge gaining units. And Marching Orders here is guaranteed to get your Fion. Uh, if you've already got Fion in hand, he'll get you your Menno, your Artorius, your Roderick, you know what I'm saying. War Council, it's a tactic, and, you know, can help you, help you thin out a little. We are playing Operator here, a favourite of my buddy uh, Ace of Plays. little side note, it was on the Ace of Plays uh, Discord channel that I got this request. Go check it out. If you're... If you're looking, if you're watching this very video here, folks, you've certainly heard of Ace of Plays. He's a personal friend and role model of mine, dare I say. So uh, certainly check him out. He's great. One of the best. So yeah, Operator to get us an extra Fire Scorpion. Beautiful. And yes, you're giving your opponent a Fire Scorpion. Yes, with one charge. But unless they're playing Nilfgaard, they're not really going to benefiting from it. Um, what else have we got here? Hefty Helge, of course. Menno to get us one of our tactics. Very good. Artorius uh, is guaranteed to get us, if we want, in a, thir in a round three situation, it can get us another Fire Scorpion, which can be really good. Or it can get thin out our hunting packs. It's guaranteed. I'll guarantee it. We've only got three, uh, three bronze units. So it's all guaranteed. It's great. Uh, Roderick. 
you know, good good thinning, good tutor. It's good. A couple of amnesties. These are tactics. I like it. A couple of and and sorry, with amnesty, you can usually get something down to three easily because we are playing the fire scorpions and the hefty helge as well as a bit of control the options as well the hunting packs of course good thinning shouldn't have a problem a lot of most uh, decks these days play something with a status so should be able to get these bad boys out and a couple of tawny jousts and battle preps fleshing out the tactics and magna divisions nice little engine piece if undisrupted so this could be could be risky business um, and look at this we are actually playing the minimum amount of units ourselves so following on in the tradition of Cadaverine with low unit but in a round three situation with the Cadaverine we do actually want to play a fair amount of units uh, being the fire scorpions and the hefty helge because in a perfect situation you could have four fire scorpions on the board two naturally one through artorius and one through operator um and yeah with cadaverine you also the the way i've built my deck which i, I quite admire i must say you can play cadaverine really late in the round so at that stage you've got a lay of the land you can see what the board state is and it, it it's a surprise play for your opponent so they it's probably too late for them to play around it too much and we can uh, easily catch up those charges because we play a lot of tactics you know if you hold on to war council play War Council into another tactic, you know, that's another two charges quick smart on your Cadaverine. Uh, it, and it's get, getting more charges for your Scorpions and your Hefty Helge to help cater that board. So, let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right now. Okay. Ruckus Swarm. Could be a battle for the ages here. Alright. Going first... Uh, we got one of these in hand. Very good. There'll be plenty of uh, doomed tokens, so they won't be a problem. Uh, what do we want to do here? Good, good. Okay, okay, this is acceptable. Now the question is, what is our opening play going to be here? Now, uh, old mate Menno requires the ranged row, so why don't we just open up with a humble magnet division on the melee? That'll do. Hell of an opening play. Uh, now, we, with Menno, of course, we can play a tactic of our choice from the deck piece. So, Amnesty may be good. Ooh, okay. Big opener play. Nice. Nice, I like that play. I've been known to do it myself. Well, that has Veil. May as well get out these hunting packs, shall we? Very good. Okay, so Marching Orders is getting us our Fion, which we don't really want to play at this juncture. Uh, Roderick could be okay. He's mm, getting a lot of points here. Menno onto Artorius might be okay here as well. Difficult to say. 
Would be good to save that though as well. Why don't we just go for a humble meno onto the value play of battle preparation. Good to thin this out as well. That'll do. That'll do. Now he's about to get another NL Conqueror, no doubt. Uh, which is rather devastating. But we have this engine piece ticking along. We still have Collar up our sleeve. And, uh, Roderick. Roderick, you know, might get us a Nero or War Council. They wouldn't be too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Alright. Yeah, alright. Let's roll the dice with Roderick. Uh, we're not going to be playing many more tactics in the piece. Let's go for Artorius. On to Fire Scorpion. And... Mm. The question is, what are we playing next in the piece? We just use this up for the value. The value play, as well, I suppose. This doesn't look too great. Um, our poor little fire scorpion here is, of course, vulnerable to a glusty warp if our opponent chose to uh, go down that route. Uh, but this stuff, really like to save for round three. You know what? We're actually going to get Fion out. Because against this list, they're probably more of a solitary kind of list. And don't have too much control options. So I'm just going to do it. Get the value on this Fire Scorpion here. Kill a few drone boys. Uh, yeah, so this still ticks along. We have now asserted dominance for whatever that's worth. But, of course, being monsters, they no doubt have some big plays. That should get him ahead, right? Oh, not quite. We do have a viable pass here, folks. And I think I'm going to take it. Even though we do uh, we do give up last say, at least we're not uh, actually losing on even. And if we can get these fire scorpions to stick, they will prove rather devastating to these one strength drone boys. Sure, sure, sure. Living souls. Alright, he hasn't really committed much. Not at all. He's done Portal. But that, that actually helps with his thinning. So, I don't know if we'll face a bleed here. And if we do, what are we dumping? That is the question of our times. Hmm... Damnation. We would like our Aneromancy, please. Anyway, if he does decide to push, we do have a few uh, tools in our tool belt here. But uh, if he does dry pass, uh, we'll just dump the operator, I suppose. Which is less than ideal. Alright. Oh well. We gotta do what we gotta do here. That'll do. Alright, come on. 
we got to think things through here. We would like our hefty helge. We've got a few tactics up our sleeve here. And we got to try and time this Katavarine. Good. Good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, what are we missing? Not too much. Alright. Okay. Whatever. So Nero can get us... Uh, Maybe a humble Magna Division. Get that ticking along early on in the piece. Nothing uh, is row locked. Perhaps we go for that. Uh, he may play Predatory Dives, however. But, uh, yeah, I think that's a hell of an opening play. Don't you? So we'll just play this on the melee there. War Council. It's guaranteed to get us an amnesty, if we so desire. Sure, sure. Good, good, good. Okay, now. Uh, Hefty Helge won't die to a natural selection, but it would die to a predatory dive. Let's go with a humble fire scorpion. Again, won't die to natural selection. Predatory dive is always a legitimate concern. Uh, you might even use a parasite on it. Who's to say? Sure. Okay. Well, he had to. He had to go looking for that. So that uh, that bodes well, folks. So we can afford to hold on to the Cadaverine rather late on in the piece, because we have a few tactics, so we can get those charges up rather quickly. Indeed, War Council being a tactic will draw us yet another tactic, so that'll gain us two charges immediately in the piece. Alright, that won't quite do it. We can protect it with a tawny joust, and I think we're going to go ahead and do that, folks. And we are going to retain these valuable charges here. So next, I think we'll get the Hefty Helge down. Get some charges ticking along for that. Uh-huh, okay. Sure, sure. Alright, well, Hefty Helge. Do your duty. So this, if it survives, which it should do, I mean, what, what more control could he possibly have up his sleeve? Uh, should gain a fair few charges here. One, two, three, four. Uh, Synthesis Blaze should survive at this stage. We've seen Parasite. We've seen Heat Wave. Wow. Not a great natural selection there, fella. I think let's uh, protect it. Just a bit more, shall we? And... Preserve these charges in the piece. So, perhaps next we get this Cadaverine down. So, uh, yeah, it'll gain one at the start of each of our turn. Plus one for each tactic. Now, he doesn't have a lot of uh, units on the board here, but nor will we, folks. Um... We don't really want to end up on five, because that'll hurt us as synthesis. Sure, sure. Doll do lock. A humble Fuka. Sure. Okay, we could kill that. Do we get this Cadaverine down? So it'll start at zero, then it'll get to one. It'll get to one, two, three naturally. Four, five, six. If we play it now, it could get to a possible six. Do we want that? Or do we want to go for a five? Well, not with the synthesis online. 
Though we could boost the synthesis with a battle prep. Yeah. Uh, alright. That's what we'll do. We'll aim for five. Alright, so we'll go Cadaverine next. Then Sosynthesis. And then War Council onto, hopefully, Battle Prep. Got good chances of getting it. But yeah, he doesn't have a lot of units here himself. But we are preserving these hefty, hefty charges here. Uh, tense game. Real tense. And not having last say. This may all be for naught. So we put this down. It'll gain two naturally. Three, four. Hang on. If I buggered it up, did I do the... I may have miscalculated here. Four may be our limit. But we should still be able to work with that. Now, is it worth killing these? Hmm. Gonna hold off for now. So, next, we're gonna put down that, uh, Synthesis Blows. And then, yeah, War Council onto... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what the, uh, the state of the board is at that stage. Now, what is his dark purposes with this order ability, I wonder? Alright, so he's going to have a chunky Glusty. Oh, yeah. Good play, good play. Do we just go for a two? No, it's not possible. It's not possible, because War Council would get us a tactic, guaranteed, putting it to three. Plus, then we got a dead Sosynthesis, so we have no choice here. We must put down the Sosynthesis blows. Now, is it worth using some of these charges? I mean, he, he mustn't have Glusty any longer. Perhaps we just go for the natural two. Depending what he plays here. Maybe we just go for the natural two on the Cadaverine. Then we just finish on War Council onto something. Or three. No, we can't. Because this gets us two charges. Uh, it gets us two charges. So we could either go for the four... We can get these down to two. I think we're better off going for the twos, folks. Let's do that. Let's get these down to two. And... Uh, so we'll get that to a two. Get that to a two. Here we go. Very nice. Then we do this. Amnesty's no good. Uh, we'll just go for Humble Assassination on the Outer Strigger there. And we got another two charges on the Hefty Helge. Not bad. Not bad at all. He may still have it, folks. He did, after all, use this order ability. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. And it's as easy as that, folks. A little bit of miscalculation, a little bit tense there. But I think we got pretty good value on the Cadaverine. Dare I say, we try it again. Let's do it. Okay, Dead Eye Ambush. Pretty good ability to deny. Oh, and he may end up with a lot of uh, units at the same strength. So this could be a thing of beauty if we can pull this off, folks. But we need to get there first. 
So I may just draw... I may just thin out the hunting packs with Artorias. I think that may prove worthwhile. Alright. Okay, at least we are going second. So we got that crucial breathing space, Your Grace. Should have held on to the tawny joust. Oh well. Yes. Oh well, indeed. Well, let's, uh... Let's get down this Magna Division. See if that survives the piece. Uh, we want to get out the hunting packs. Early cut, which are sure. Well, you should get some pretty good value out of that. Sure. Alright, let's play a battle prep, because uh, nothing has a status at this juncture, and uh, this, this armor here will prove rather valuable. Mm, it's got some fine engines going in the piece. Okay, so this seems to be more of a movement deck rather than specifically for the elves. Uh, dare I just go for another battle prep? I don't hate it. If he's got tall removal, well, sure, that'll take us out of the round. But that's okay. Sure. Standard play for the Squirtle Scum. Good thinning. No doubt about that, but... There's a shield, boy! So why don't we get out this hunting pack, shall we? On the melee row, of course. There we go. Good thinning play of our own. Uh, still nothing that we can amnesty... Yeah, those engines, pesky engine pieces. There's not too much we can do about it. Not too much at all. Alright, pal. Take the bloody round. But, that's both cat witches. So, uh, you know, that's pretty good. We shouldn't have to worry about that too much now. So maybe now he focuses more on the Elven package? Don't know. Don't know what to expect here. Consider me flummoxed. Now then. Now, let's see what we got here. Good. And that. Alright, if he dry passes, which I doubt he will... You can't afford to dump a card. No, disregard. Okay, perhaps... Perhaps it's worthwhile just playing Menno, thin out a Tawny Joust. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's not too shabby at all. Good little bit of extra thinning in the piece. You can't argue with that. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be tense. I don't know what he's focusing on here. He could get another Cat Witcher through the, uh, the Scoia'tael Castle artifact. The Care. Right. Roderick is... One of these two. And the marching orders just gets us Magni. Which is whatever. We want the fire scorpion, please. Uh, okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, Roderick. Roderick gets us marching orders. 
which gets us Magni, and a Nero will get us Fire Scorpion. So, in this case, we got nothing that's row locked. So, how's about we go ahead and uh, get that opening play going? Very good. Very good. That'll do. Now, we got that ticking along. I think what we want to do next is get a uh, defender going. Defender online, which he may have purification for. Ooh. Let's assassinate that. That's a damn fine target if I ever saw one. Alright. So, yeah, we want to get this Fion down. And then we want to get our little uh, engine pieces ticking along. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, we got Operator for one, which is... Uh, that's pesky business. Sure. Do we kill that? Uh... What do we do here? Got to time this right for Cadaverine. Uh, I'm going to Operator Styles. So if he wants to kill this Fire Scorpion, he's going to have to first move the Fion. Now what we could do, could be a dastardly play. We could, if this survives... Nah, damn. Damnation. Uh, what do we do? Damn this movement. Yeah, that's too pesky. It's, uh, it's too pesky business. We're just gonna kill it. Thank you so much. Okay, we gotta get, we gotta get these down. Need them to start gaining some charges. Sure, sure, sure. we got to time this. So, are we, we going to aim for the threes? Not great. we got a couple of three boys here ourselves. Do we aim for twos? Knock stuff down to two. That may be worthwhile. So, we got to time this. War Council could get us our other Fire Scorpion. But we may need it to gain charges. Uh, let's get this down. This is tense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's going to start boosting his stuff. So perhaps we need to start focusing on... The fours and fives. I think it might be time to put down the Cadaverine, folks. I think let's get that ticking along. So it's going to gain three, naturally. Four through the War Council. Possibly five if we need it to. Oh man, this is tense. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Got a bunch of threes, but he's gonna be gain he's gonna be boosting stuff. This is this is difficult business. Uh alright, let's get Okay, so War Council is gonna have to be our final play, so we're not gonna go for the Fire Scorpion. We'll go for a tactic. So that means this has one now. It'll get another two naturally, 
and another two through the War Council onto another thing, so... It'll be at five. We're aiming for the fives here, boys, which isn't great for us as Synthesis Blaze, but it may be okay. Anyway, our Magna Division is back online. So... Oh, he actually gained a charge through the Waylay, which is a Scoia'tael tactic. Alright, so Synthesis Blaze... We got a lot of points to catch up here, uh, but we're going for the fives. So we'll war council onto probably assassination if we get it. Uh, though we could we could just steal the elven dead eye here, I suppose. And we don't have last say. All right, let's. We got to do this quick. So. Are we going for the fives? Oh, he's got a lot of fours. Does have a lot of fours. But we got a couple of fours. Now we'll go for the fives. Uh, we could kill the Gezrus. But we'll do that through Cadaverine. Let's just steal that. Alright, so we got five. We're going for the fives here, boys. Alright. Gotta be quick. Shit, 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 shit. Alright. That one. That one. Oh, man. Ah! Alright, we put this. That was, uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. What are you doing? Damn, man. That was great, but we ran out of bloody time. Ooh, mate. That was tense. I think that's a hell of a game to finish on, folks. And against Trinet's chair. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, we actually... I'll, we, you'll have to review the tape. For those of you viewing at home, you can just easily do that. But I'm in real time here, folks. I can't do it. But we lost out. I think we had another charge on the Sosanthesis Blaze. A couple of charges on the uh, Fire Scorpion. And with our Hefty Helge, we had a charge there, but ended up using it on our own Feon. So we actually, if we had a little more time... Would have uh, won by a larger margin, but that was still glorious. That was a great Cadaverine for the ages. So guys, look, tinker with it. It is a tough one. Cadaverine is a tricky card to play. Um, tricky business. you got to time things perfectly, and there is risk of always going over the top, and then it's useless. But Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Tinker with it. Why don't you try it yourself? And uh, I'll see you in the comments. Cheers.